Welcome to an introduction to statistics, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com. In our first podcast, we are going to introduce some fairly simple ideas that will help you with our further podcasts for statistics. Statistics is about the collection of information, which we call data. Data can be grouped and analysed. You will probably have guessed then that statistics is concerned with trying to make sense of numbers, which we often call drawing conclusions from the data. The group from which data is collected is called the population, but not every member of a population is always used for data collection. More frequently, a sample of the population is taken, but the sample does need to be representative. A population can be finite, meaning that there is a limit or upper number, or it can be infinite, meaning that there is no limit to the numbers that might be obtained. Let's introduce a few terms for the math. Statistics will try and relate sets of numbers to look for a relationship. A variable is a value that can change. All the values in a set are said to be in the same domain. The variables can be discrete, such as counting the number of pairs of shoes. Or the variables can be continuous, such as measuring the weight of a group, when there are an infinite number of possibilities. Where there is a relationship, we may say one item is a function of another item meaning that for a particular value of one item, x in this case, there is only one value for g. So, here is a particular set of information showing the number of wickets taken by a cricketer each season from 1986 to 1992. Presenting raw information in the form of a table is how we often start. Here is another way in which information might be presented. In this case, we are showing the relationship that exists between two variables, t and s. We do not normally leave information like this. We try and present it in a visual way that helps us explore the idea of the relationship. By exploring the idea using a graph, we can see that the relationship produces a straight line. We can also describe any position along the straight line in terms of two coordinates where the horizontal reference is given, followed by the vertical reference, the x-axis before the y-axis. The data presented here was taken from the US budget for 2011. I have grouped some items to keep it simple. How can we represent this in a visual form? My first thought might be to produce a pie chart. A pie chart is made up at 360 degrees and each slice is a measure of the fraction of 360 degrees for that item. We can see that defence is the largest item of expenditure and that education is a relatively small item of expenditure. You might find using a bar graph a better way of presenting this data. It is often easier to see which of two items is the larger when we use bar charts. For example, it is easier using the bar chart to see that more is spent on health care than on pensions. This table shows another set of data, this time for population growth in China between 1990 and 2002. My first choice here might be to use a line graph. Here is my line graph for the data. If I wanted to make measurements of slopes, then this form of presentation is the most useful. Here is the information presented now as a bar chart. It is still clear, but the chart is not as useful as the graph. You will discover why in later podcasts. There are times when you may collect data and want to test your data with a formula. We have shown a simple formula here. You will find it easier when using formulae to make use of Excel spreadsheets or any other spreadsheet, so that the math can be done more easily. Having plotted my data onto a graph, I can see very easily that I have a curve shape that looks like a bowl. This type of curve is called a parabola. 
This ends our first podcast on statistics, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. Thank you for watching and for listening. We wish you success in your studies. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please visit parkbenchtutors.com.